Hi, this is Mark from Productive Computing. And I'm Stu. And we're here today to talk about a brand new course offering that we're really excited about. It is called Connect FileMaker to Outlook. Right. And you know, I was looking through our archives and I realized, actually I didn't realize when I was looking, but when I finally found the information, we had released this plugin back in 2003. So wow. that's 15 years ago we released the Outlook wow. Manipulator plugin. And uh, we've been selling it ever since. We've got customers all over the world using it uh, for all kinds of things. But today we finally have a situation now where we have a course. So what, what can a developer learn from this course? Tell us you a little bit about it. Yeah. The timing is really interesting because I started with FileMaker in 2002. Oh. And at that time, I did everything in Outlook. Before I learned about FileMaker, sure. everything was Outlook. And so the plugin came out, but I will honestly say when I first got started as a developer, plugins were, that's for somebody else. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. It was too intimidating. It didn't understand it. So I really wish I would have had this course way back then, which is why I, did, I never did the plugin. Basically in this course, we go from start to finish. We start with an empty database and we start building from scratch and we go through contacts and tasks and mail and notes and calendar, how to push, pull, delete all of that side by side or mouse to mouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, you should just see all along because there's over 75 pages of documentation. Oh. So if you wanted to try and do this on your own, it's gonna take you a lot longer than the course. I know, because that's what I did. I didn't know how to use the plugin when I started looking at all of it. And so you really get a true feeling of start to finish. And I, so I wish I would have had this course back in 2003, it would have made a world of difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I mean, people are using the plugin for all kinds of things. They use it for uh, capturing email. So they'll receive email in Outlook, but they'll want to parse that email and bring it into FileMaker as a repository for the company, either for history or to be able to search on it differently. Uh, another big use for Outlook is pushing calendar events. So let's say you have your list of calendar events right. in FileMaker, just a simple list but it brings on a whole new meaning when you can push that to Outlook and have it in your local Outlook calendar or even within the Exchange environment. So having this course now to kind of show the developer, here's the plugin, here's what you can do from a real developer's perspective, uh, step by step, uh, even if they've never used a plugin before, would, right, they, would they have exactly. success in this? Absolutely, that was the, the purpose I was going for is if you haven't used the plugin and even if you don't know Outlook very well, it's kind of going from both eyes because they're both FileMaker and Outlook are such huge powerhouse programs and it's come Outlook has come a long way since I first also was FileMaker. But there's some really cool things that people love about Outlook, but they wish they could do this that they do in FileMaker. Here you get a chance, you can get the best of both worlds right. very easily and seamlessly when you know the right steps. Because there's a couple of hurdles that I found, discovered by doing it, that if I miss this one step, right. it's gonna cost hours of debugging and chasing and trying to figure it out. Right. So the course kind of guides the developer through the process. Don't go here. Mm -hmm. This is a much faster way to, it's, right. yeah, this is what I wish I would have had in, in 2003. And how much video training is there? Like how long does it take to take the course? It's about five hours uh, going from start to finish. Mm -hmm. And there's a sample database file in each section. But okay. I think the, the video part of it, and you and I have talked about this before, the fact that you can pause it and go back, right? or if you're like, yeah, maybe you're experienced enough with plugins, you're like, oh, I just really wanna to get to this one part over here, then you have that option. If you're brand new and you're like, oh, this might be too much, then you get to pause it and see the sample file, look at it and, right. and really learn it. Yeah, I mean, I love the whole idea of video training and as a FileMaker developer, I wish that we had video training way back when. Uh, it wasn't really in vogue 15 years ago, but it certainly is in vogue today and that is the modern way of learning and we've really embraced that whole concept. So we have a full-fledged university and this is one course of many. Uh, and I think that we just released a bundle opportunity where you can, for one single price, you can have your run of the house and have every course available. Right, which is a huge deal because if you have just two courses, it's more, I mean, you saved a, a ton of time. And there's so many different courses on there now, such a well-rounded thing that, again, as a developer starting out, this would have been huge. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're very excited about bringing this offering. Um, you can visit our website at ProductiveComputing.com or you can go directly to the university site at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com and take a look around. We actually have some free previews, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so we're excited about this course and we hope to join you uh, with us as instructors. We'll see you in the class. All right, great. Thank you for watching.